Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I am making some embellishments for some books I'm making. And so I thought that I would just let the camera play while I make them. So I will show you how to make these cute little mason jars. Different sizes. See if I can get that to focus. Um, and then I've got some file folders and a little camera and just a plain um like a file folder just like the front or the back of one i don't really know if there's a name for that and then uh, some little thread spools so you can actually take um twine or thread or whatever you want and just wrap it around just like that well does it want to focus okay it's focusing <laughs> so anyways I'm making all of these with my envelope punch board so I just thought that I would show y'all how to make each thing that I'm making I also have made some little envelopes um, and then, let me see if I can find it, because there's another style of envelope that you can make. Here we go. So, one that opens at the top. So, I'll show you how to make those. And then, I, if I have time, I will show you how to make some tiny envelopes um, for paper clips. So just, um, it's just according to how we do with our time. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to make are the envelopes. And these were, um, these were made out of six by six paper pads. I'm sure you guys probably recognize the paper pad. So I am just going to pull out one of my paper pads here, just any random one. Um, I would like for them to be able to match the books that I'm making. So let me just find something that'll match. This one will match. And I should have pulled these out earlier, but I wasn't thinking. Mm. Let me try again. That one might match. Ooh, this one will match. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to cut off or trim off the little, uh, where the little line is. So, I'm going to just get over here to my trimmer and trim that off. And that will make it a 6 by 6 sheet. Okay, so I'm sure all of you have seen the envelope punch board. I have been saying that I was going to do um, a video on it for a while, and I just haven't had time. But when I had it out today and I was making, you know, my embellishments and stuff, I thought, well, let's just go ahead and do it. So, this is the envelope punch board. And let me just move some of this stuff out of the way so that we can get started. Alright, so if you take a 6x6 six six sheet of paper, I love the envelope punch board because it gives you um, the measurements here of the paper size that you need. So a 6x6, six six, let me find it. I know it's in here. Okay, well, I'm losing my mind. I know it's here. Hang on, let me just look. Y'all, my eyeballs are getting old. <laughs> I need some more, um, I need some stronger eyeballs because I can't see the little tiny rotten now. Okay, there it is. That's why I couldn't see it good. It's in the blue. So, for a six by six um, piece of paper, 
Um, you're going to score on the, oh, goodness. Ooh, I didn't realize my eyes were that bad. Okay, two and five eighths. <laughs> so when I have paper that's this thin, I'll go ahead and um, I will go ahead and score a couple of sheets at a time. So we're just going to line this up at two and five eighths. Now, for you left-handers, this is awkward for us because the score line is on the right-hand side. So here's what I do. I line my paper up to where I need it to be. And then I'm just going to turn my scoreboard this way. Hold my paper, punch, and score. Okay. Then once you have that score line, you can kind of feel your way around. And I should have done it on the back side because it's easier to see it when it's on the white side. Okay, so you can punch and score. I'm sure you all know how to do this, but I just thought, well, I'm doing, so I'll just show it while I'm doing. Score, and then on the last one, and basically what you're doing is you're lining this little nub, tip, whatever you want to call it, up with your score line. So I've got that lined up with my score line. Okay, and then I'm going to punch and score. So, you have something that looks like this. Then I want to turn it around and figure out what's going to be my top and bottom. You know what? I'll do that in a minute because I don't want to round them yet. Okay, so now the only difference in these two envelopes is the way you fold them. So, for this one, I'm going to do this one that way. You take your, these sides are bigger than these sides. So, you're going to turn that sideways, fold it in, score, or not score, but burnish. Fold this one in, burnish, and then fold this one up and burnish. And then there you have your long ways envelope. Okay. If you want it to be wide, you're going to do, you're going to fold in the smaller ends first. So I turn it over, burnish it, burnish it, then fold the bottom up, burnish it, and then I'm going to take the other end of my scoreboard and I'm going to round my tip on both envelopes. And I might, no, I don't want that one rounded. Okay, so that is your wide envelope. So it looks like that. And your long envelope. And then you can decorate these or do whatever you want to do with them. Um, but yeah, so that's how you make the large, uh, the large size or the the size out of a six by six paper pad. And the other day, I just took a whole six by six paper pad that I haven't used in forever, and I just went ahead and chopped up a bunch of envelopes and stuffed them in here, and that way they're ready to go when I'm ready to use them. Now, I also got this little tiny um, punch board for little tiny envelopes. So, now, I haven't played with this one a whole lot because I haven't had time to. Um, let me put my score knife in here. So I don't lose it. We'll pull this one out. Look how tiny that score knife is. All right, so, um, we're going to take... What size do I want to do? I was looking for an even number, but I don't think there's going to be an even number. So, we'll do a 2 by 3 No, a 2 by 2 Let's do a 2 by 2 So, you want your cardstock piece 
to be at three and three eighths by three and three eighths. So let me see if this piece I have here is going to be big enough for that. So what I say, three and three eighths. So there's three, one, two, three. So we'll trim him there. And then one, two, three. Wait a minute. I may have done that wrong. Yeah, no, I didn't. One, two, three. Sorry, talking to myself. <laughs> no, I'm actually talking to you guys. We're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. So, if we want to do the, th the two by two, we're going to score at one and five eighths. So, I'm going to line it up here at one and five eighths. I'm going to turn my scoreboard because I'm lefty punch and score. I'm going to turn it and line up the score line with the score guide. Punch and score. Line it up again. Punch and score. And line it up one last time. Punch and score okay so then we're just going to fold in our sides burnish fold in this side and burnish fold this one in and burnish i'm going to round the tip of this and there you have a two by two envelopes. Super cute. However, I want to do a teeny tiny envelope for um, for my um, paper clip. So I'm going to do a two by two. Let me see if I can find just a cute little strip of paper. Okay, so I have this one. This looks like it might be two inches wide. Let me just look and see. Some stuff out of my way okay so I'm gonna cut two by two. Oh, that's already two inches wide so that works out really well okay and then it says here to score at the one inch line so I'm gonna line this up at the one inch line hope you guys can see this let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Sorry about that. I hope that you were able to see what I was doing earlier. Okay, so we're going to score here. Well, I'm going to turn it sideways. Punch. And score. And then I'm going to line it up with my score guide. Punch. And score. Line it up with my score guide. Punch. Well, there we go. I couldn't couldn't find my score line. And then line it up there. Punch and score. Okay. And then we're gonna just take this. Ooh, both sides are super cute. I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna fold these two in. Fold this one up, and I think I want to round that one. Oops, sorry. And then I'm going to round this one. Okay, so we're going to fold that one up and that one down. And look at that little one by one tiny envelope. Okay, so then I'm going to take a paper clip. I have one over here somewhere. Mm, I guess I'll just do a plain paper clip. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that you have the double end, is what I call it, facing down. You don't want to put your, um, your envelope on that double end. And then what I'm going to do is I am just going to flip this little envelope over. I'm going to put my paper clip on it. 
And before I glue it, I'm going to find a little tiny piece of paper that I can use to hold that on. So, let me see. I need something cute. I kind of like that. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut a little square out of it. Okay. And then I'm just going to lay my paper clip down on my envelope. Make sure that you don't go down so far, you know, that that your, own, your paper clip's not usable. You want to make sure that you can use it. I actually think if I could find that little piece that I just had of this, I would use that on the back so that it blends in better. Oh, here we go. So let's let's use a piece of this. So that's going to blend in a little better than that bright yellow. Okay. So you're just going to take your paper clip, lay it on top of your envelope, and then what I do, and I'm sure there's plenty of different ways to do this, um, but I just take my hot glue and glue over that paper clip and then I take my little strip of paper and I lay it on top of that paper clip and glue and press down okay I got glue strings everywhere okay so then I'm gonna glue this shut I'm just going to put a tiny dab of glue there, and then, oh, sorry, it's harder when I'm zoomed in to, um, now you just want a little bitty bit of glue, it doesn't take much. So you just glue your little envelope closed, and then you can cut yourself a little one by one inch square, which I'm going to do now. Sorry I keep going out of camera, guys, but, you know, I can't fit everything in. Okay, so there's your little card. Let me see what it would look like if we did this. I don't know that this is going to work. It's probably going to look funny. Yeah, that looks funny. Let's try this one. Okay, so you just take your little one-by-one one inch little card and you can put it down in there you can write a little note on it or whatever you want to do and then you can also decorate your envelope um you know you can put like a little word on there you can put a little flower on there some rhinestones you guys y'all know how to decorate there is so much you can you can do with that to make it super cute so there you go you have a little paper clip that you can use in your journals with an envelope on it okay so there's the envelopes now I'm going to try and hurry because we're going to run out of time because I talk too much or it takes longer you know I'm a slow, slow crafter so it takes a little longer for me <laughs> all right I'm going to zoom you back out just a little bit because now we're going to do um, the little mason jar okay so I'll show you how to do the mason jar. You're gonna take a piece of paper that is two and a half by three and a half. So I have two and a half by three and a half. Okay, and on the long edge, so the three and a half inch edge, you're going to line it up with the edge of the score guide. So I'm gonna pull it up close so you can see. So I'm just gonna take it right in there and I am going to line my paper up to the very tip of this score guide okay and then once I have it lined up I'm gonna punch okay I'm gonna pull it out flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and punch so you're gonna have something that looks like like that okay and then you're just gonna cut off these little triangles Ooh, and the good part is this one has lines on it because, you know, us left-handed folks, 
we don't cut straight so having paper with lines on it is very good for us <laughs> okay so there is your mason jar shape and then you're just going to take a strip of paper that is i didn't write it down well let's just see it's going to be three quarters by one and three quarters okay so let me see where's my okay here we go so i'm going to cut myself a strip that is three quarters by one and three quarters bear with me So we have, it looks like this, and I'm going to take some glue, put it across the top of my mason jar, and then I'm just going to lay my little strip right down on the top. Now, that's a little long for me, or a little wide, so I'm going to just scoot it up and line it up. With the edge of where my jar looks like it goes because this is supposed to be the jar lid and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to wipe some of that glue off because I tend to be heavy-handed with glue and then I'm just going to trim it up here so you can play around with this and you know get a feel for it. it's really really easy to do these so that one's super cute and then I'm just going to take and I have some red twine here. So I'm just going to take a piece of twine and tie it around my jar lid. Just like a mason jar. Okay, so just bring that down. And you can either tie a bow, you can tie a knot, however you want to do it. I like the look of the knot. And I'm going to tuck him down in there because I did not tie that the right way. So there you go. There you have a cute, super cute little mason jar. Okay. Now you can do this with any size paper that you want to do it with. See, I have, you know, little smaller ones. And I just kind of played around with my measurements until I got it to, you know, whatever size I wanted it to be at. So there's your mason jar. Then, to do the thread holder, this super cute little thread spool, I made myself a template. It's going to look like this is the template. So, you're going to cut this two and a half by two inch square. So, let's get a two and a half by two inch square. So, this one's two. I'm just going to use this same little, little paper that I had. The little polka dot paper but I think I might do it on the blue side okay and then where'd my template go you're going to punch you're gonna line this up at one inch at the one inch mark which is basically just right beside um, your punch <coughs> excuse me sorry guys once I have it lined up actually I don't have to turn it because I don't have to score so I'm just going to punch there, and then I'm going to pull this out and flip it over and line it up at one inch. Basically, you're going to do this for all four corners. So then we're going to flip it this way, line it up at one inch, and punch. And then flip it over, line it up at one inch, and punch. So you'll wind up with something that looks like this. And then you're just going to take your scissors and go in here and trim out this tr little triangle as straight as you can. You know, and we're left-handed, so we don't cut straight, but that's okay. There we go. And there you have your little thread spool. Super cute. Really, really easy. Then you can ink around the edges. Um, you know, you can make it summery or vintage-y, you know. However, it's really according to what kind of paper you use. So that is the thread spool. Then we'll make the file folder. 
I have some pieces cut for the file folder. Let me see. Here, I'm going to do one more of these thread spools because I had already cut paper for it and just show you how different it looks just from using a different kind of paper. So punch. Why is it stuck? Because I'm on camera. <laughs> it's stuck because I'm on camera. Okay. Why did it do that? I have no idea why it did that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it around this way, line it up at one inch, then I'm going to flip it over, line it up at one inch, and turn it around this way. That was a little confusing, sorry, and punch. Okay, then I'm going to trim out my triangles. And there you have a cute little spool. So, um, what was the next thing I said I was going to do? Okay, a file folder. So, this is a piece that I have for a file folder. You can do this with any size, any rectangle. This one is one, two, three, four, five, five, and it's about approximately five and three quarters. So, you're going to take your envelope punch board. And you're going to go turn it to the short end. And then I usually just kind of gauge, um, you know, where about that I want my file tab to be. And like this one, I'm probably going to do at a quarter of an inch. And punch. And then I'm going to flip it over. Put it at a quarter of an inch. And punch. So you're going to have something that looks like that. Then I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim away the excess on both sides. And again, I'm left-handed so I don't cut very straight, so I always have to even stuff up. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my sheet of paper and fold it up to that line and burnish it. Here is my bone folder. There you go. So you have that, that looks like a file folder. Super cute. You can make them bigger. I'll show you with another one. Um, here's one that's it's the same size piece of paper as that one was. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to make this tab a little bigger. So I'm just going to line it up on the one inch mark. Flip it over. We'll line it back up on the one inch mark. Punch and see how it makes your tab just a little bit wider. So you can make the tab as big or as small as you want it to be. And then we will just trim this away. And trim that away. Fold him up. And you've got yourself a file folder. Now on this one, I even punched the corners. So, and it's a little hard to do because the tab gets in your way. So what I do is I just kind of lift up my tab up on the side of my punch. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And then I just kind of push it on in there. And that way, I can kind of round the corners. And then I round these corners. So then, you have a rounded off file folder. And you can even round the bottom edges too if you want to. So, we'll just go ahead and round these while we're at it. There you go. So you've got some cute little file folders. Now, love this paper. I don't know what paper pad this is from. Let me see. This is from, um, it's called Happiness is Homemade by Echo Park. So if you want to get some of this paper, I just think it's super cute. I got this at scrapbook.com. So, I'm going to make a file, file folder out of this one, and I think I am going to go a quarter of an inch on this one. Flip him over. Go to a quarter of an inch, because I want kind of a bigger tab on him. Actually, 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and trim this off, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one. If you want just like the single, hang on, um, like the single piece of file folder, you know, that doesn't fold at all, it just looks like a file folder, then basically you just cut your, um, your tab out, and then you just trim this off on your paper trimmer, and I'll show you what I mean. So there you have just your single sheet file folder, and you can use this as a, um, to put in a tuck, as a journaling card, or whatever you want to use it for. And usually I will round the edges on these. So there's just your single file folder. Now if you want to make a camera out of that, let's do that real quick. I was trying to see if I could find like a more solid color sheet let's do this one even though it's not solid color but it's got stripes so it'll work a little better so i am just going to cut a piece of this um, and like i say i would give you measurements but you can do any measurement you want on this really and truly and make it be you know whatever size you want it so it's kind of pointless for me to give you measurements because you don't really need them okay so now I have this piece of paper and I'm going to line him up at one inch, flip him over, line him up at one inch. Actually, I think I'm going to redo that because I wanted that smaller. See? messed up on camera and I'm just totally not going to freak out about it guys <laughs> I mean you know none of us are perfect we all make mistakes and we just fix them and keep going that's all you can do when you make a mistake okay so now we have this one and I'm going to go a little smaller um, with this and I'll, I'll show you why it needed to be a little bit smaller than than the one inch. I'm going to go to a quarter inch. See how that tab's a little bit smaller? So I'm just going to, you know, these lines might mess me up because they're not exactly where I need them to be. <laughs> Trim these off. Just like that. I'm going to move my punch board. And then I'm going to take a circle. Not that circle. I don't like that circle. Let me grab my circle punch and I'll just punch me a circle. It's not like I don't have a blue million circles laying around here, but of course when you need one uh, immediately, you can't find it. So that's how it always goes. Hang on. I am looking for more of a solid sheet color paper. Mm. Okay, here's one. So I'm just going to punch myself a circle out of this. Which side do I want? I think that side. Okay. And then I'm going to cut a strip to go across here. I think I already have a strip cut. Nope, I don't. Of course I don't. Because why would it be that easy? And I want it kind of a contrasting strip. I have some strips in here. Y'all, look at this. I'm going to zoom out. Oops, I didn't mean to zoom in. I'm trying to zoom out and it went crazy on me. Sorry about that. This is my box of scraps. It is absolutely ridiculous how many scraps I have. So I'm fixing to start doing some scrap with me projects or something because <laughs> I mean this is and it keeps going there's plenty more down in there so yeah that's why it takes me a minute to dig through my scrap box no nope, I don't like that one I'm being picky but I'm going to be using these oh nope 
I'm going to be using these on projects, so I want them to look good. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take a piece of this and cut a strip out of it. And I would probably just cut like a, um, I don't know, half, three-quarter inch strip. And then let's see. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Which way do I want it? I kind of like that one better than the yellow. So I just take my glue and I'm just going to run a lot of glue all the way across kind of the middle of my camera. And then I'm going to line this sheet of paper up all the way across and glue it down. Just like that. Okay. So then I'm going to turn it over and trim this off. Then I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to just ink the edges a little bit. And I'm using pink because it's what's on my desk. Um, so I'm going to put a little glue there. Stick him in the middle. And then I'm going to take just a little tiny piece over here to the corner so that it kind of looks like it's the flash and then I'm going to get a couple of rhinestones or little dots or something we'll use these and I'm going to put them right here maybe like that so there you have a camera now you can put a smaller circle in the middle to make it look like you know the the lens is zooming in but I don't have a smaller circle punch um, so I haven't been doing that but anyway it looks like a camera and I think it's cute so that's what Oh, and you know what? I should have rounded the corners. Kind of like that one. I should have rounded the corners. Let me see. I don't know if I can get the top corners rounded, but we'll try. Let me see. Hey, it worked. Look at there. There we go. So there's a cute little camera. What else did I tell y'all I was going to show y'all how to make? I think that's everything. So... We have, let me just clear some of this off. We have the cameras. We have the file, just the plain sheet or single sheet file folders. We have the folding file folders. We have the little spools, the little thread spools. We have the mason jars. We have envelopes, paper clip envelopes with the little cards in there. And, and then six by six little envelopes. So that is, and there's so much more of this envelope punch board. I am learning all kinds of stuff that you can do with it. So it's super fun. I'm having a good time doing it. So anyways, I'm just making a femur today to go in some journals. I've got several custom order journals that I'm working on. So um, this is what I'm playing with today. And then you can, you know, you can take all kinds of stuff and decorate these with, but I'm not going to go into that right now because um, I'm right at 40 minutes on my video. So don't want it to be too, too long, but um, I said I was going to stop promising to make short videos because, you know, it's just not me. I'm not making short videos. I don't make short videos. I've tried and it don't work for me. So, it's just who I am. I run my mouth. I talk. I have a good time. So, um, if you don't like watching long videos, don't watch. Um, and I don't mean that to be hateful. I'm just giving you warnings. It's going to be long. <laughs> so, anyways. <sighs> You guys, I sure do love y'all. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave me some comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.